Okay, so we just walked through uh, the ground floor of Fortune Town Shopping Mall. And I'm going to show you a popular store called Lotus's. I don't know why the, this English is spelled this way. It's literally Lotus apostrophe S instead of Lotus apostrophe. Anyways. So this is like a supermarket. You're going to get all your groceries and boxed foods. But up on the second floor, you got all your housewares, you know, bedding, uh, furniture, electronics, appliances, that kind of stuff. I'll take you up there though. Tesco is a very clean supermarket. They tend to maintain it quite nicely. Let's go through the produce section for you guys. So produce in Thailand is generally very good considering how inexpensive it is compared to the West. I grew up in New England and going to a supermarket in New England is depressing. Like all the produce is brown and wilted. It's rather disgusting. But here everything is all fresh and green. Mainly because it never it doesn't really snow here. So and the country is so small that uh, everything gets shipped from a farm right to the store quite quickly whereas I'm sure like growing up in New England most of that produce is trucked in from Florida or California I mean California that's a long truck drive away there's a little salad bar they charge by the uh, I think it's 30 baht for 100 grams so around ten dollars for 2.2 pounds which is a kilogram all right Nice fresh oranges. Some oranges are sweet, some are sour. Nice green vegetables, basil, coriander. Nice watermelon. So this is this is like a one dollar piece of water watermelon. It's probably like a good pound. Different kinds of bananas, small bananas, regular bananas, kiwis. It's called longan. It's pretty good. I've grown to like dragon fruit. It doesn't have much flavor, but it's packed full of water. It's very refreshing. Melons, pineapples, some Asian pears. They bake a lot of stuff on site at a Tesco. So this is all pre-packaged baking, good, but this stuff is all baked here, I think. All fresh every day. There's some uh, freshly made hot foods, so. There's chicken. Sushi, sashimi. Eggs. We got some cold meats, you know, raw meats, shabu meats, thinly sliced pork, chicken, beef. There's the seafood section. I think these fish are all frozen. You can tell by the eyes, the eyes are cloudy. So the seafood I think at Tesco very often is frozen. I know the chicken is all frozen too. You can see these breasts here. You know, these chicken breasts, that's still a frozen block. You wanna get some weird offal, you know, offal, the intestines, pig's ears, pig's hoofs. Ground pork, giant slabs of bacon, frozen frozen foods.
dairy section. Thais love their yogurts, not only in real yogurt form, but drinking form. And milk. Cold cuts. Some uh, juices. Cheeses. A, long, a few years ago, this was called Tesco. And Tesco is a British uh, supermarket brand. So a lot of uh, foreign foods would be at this kind of supermarket, you know, things that Thais don't t traditionally eat. But uh, now it's just called Lotuses, so I think it's just a uh, Thai-based company. But they still maintain a pretty international mix of uh, foods. You know, you can still buy Tabasco sauce here, that kind of stuff, you know, American foods, British foods. Now, if you love drinking, this might be a problem for you guys. This country only sells alcohol at certain hours of the day. There's a sign here. So, you can only buy liquor between 11 and uh, 2 o'clock, and then from 5 o'clock to midnight. And you have to be over 20 years old to buy alcohol here. Um, I'm not sure of the reason. I would have to guess. If everyone could buy alcohol any time of day, no one would go to work. <laughs> so, that's what I literally think uh, for the time constraints. They don't trust the average person to uh, be drinking in the middle of the afternoon or the morning time. So really big in this country is uh, boxed milk. This is all pasteurized milk in boxes, you know, kind of like you would get at a, a school. But, you know, when I was growing up, the milk at school was refrigerated. But this stuff doesn't need to be refrigerated. So. You know, very poor, poor people in this country don't even have a refrigerator or a microwave. So I do believe that's why uh, so many beverages can be kept in a warm condition. If not a box, an actual can can of uh, milk. Snacks. Now everyone loves snacks. So a bunch of nuts. You are what you eat. Imported nuts, domestic nuts. But here we got some uh, a big section of dried fish products. So these are like dried cuttlefish or dried squid snacks. And it's kind of like a squid jerky. It's pretty good actually. It's chewy. Some of them are crispy, but they all have flavors to them. Here's some seaweed chips, dried seaweed sheets. That's good stuff too. It's just kind of expensive though. And then we got some potato snacks here, taro chips, pea flavored, well pea based snacks. Those are pretty good. Corn based snacks. Baked corn, baked snacks here. And then I guess pretty much everyone anywhere in the world loves potato chips. So there's Thai potato chips, but also Lay's is a big presence here. Lay's potato chips. And Pringles is also really big here. There are actually some healthy ones, you know, some uh, baked chips here. Now, the staple carbohydrate in this country is rice. So of course, all this entire wool is rice. Frankly, I can't tell much difference between the rices, but uh, other people can. Chocolate is very popular as well. And then there's cookies and sweet snacks here. So a lot of the chocolates are imported. Lint, uh, Reese, oh, Ritter, Hershey's. Kit Kats, a lot of jelly candies, Oreos, Haribo gummy bears, big bulk crackers here, 
balls, jellies. These Japanese pokey things are really popular. The pretzel sticks covered in chocolate. And then some uh, sponge cakes, kind of like Twinkies. And then, you know, instant ramen noodles, very popular. There's a lot of domestic brands, but they also have a lot of Korean brands and naturally uh, Japanese brands. So you have this entire sec section here dedicated to dried uh, noodles. And a small section of pasta. It's actually a pretty big section for Thailand. You know, Thais didn't grow up eating wheat pasta like Italians do. And some canned goods. Tuna, mackerel. Got the season gift baskets here. Cooking oils. Some, uh, cooking sauces in that aisle. Food containers there. Okay, so you can see a whole bunch of appliances up here. Fans, rice cookers, blenders. There's gonna be a pharmacy up here as well if you need to get some drugs. all your health and beauty products you know makeup shampoo soaps baby section all the diapers seasonal gifts and you know clothing a lot of inexpensive clothing I've actually bought some of these and there there's nothing wrong with them they're just not name brand so you need to buy some cheap clothes for your kids that you know they're gonna get destroyed or outgrown. Tesco might not be a bad place for you. Very vast assortment of flip-flops being in such a hot country, as well as athletic wear. And even formal, you know, dress wear, shirt, button-down shirts, that kind of stuff. TVs, amazing how cheap TVs have become. Amazing. This is a 75-inch Samsung TV for like $1,200. 3700 baht. Get your microwaves, other appliances, hardware stuff, light bulbs, fasteners, nails. If you need to get a cheap bicycle for your kid, I guess in a way this is like a small Walmart. Stationary goods. Towels, furniture, bedding. Paper towels, okay. You got the idea. Okay, so that's what Tesco looks like. If you need to just get everything to live, is Tesco is located all over Thailand, not just Bangkok, they're everywhere in this country. And uh, I find that their prices are some of the best. This and another chain called Big C, which I'll have to show you in a different video. So every Lotus's department store or supermarket has a food court. And a Lotus food court is actually a really good way to try real Thai food really inexpensively. So let's take a look at this one. All Lotus food courts have a um, cash card system. You can't pay by cash, just to prevent internal theft. So you just give them some cash, they give you like a little credit card, and they debit from there. 
This one has uh, free drink refills. If you want to buy a soda, you can refill and drink as much as you want. But uh, let's take a look at the food items here. Some pre-made entree foods. Here's some prices. 40, 50 baht. This is a freshly made stir fry stuff here. This is called ladna. Some, uh, it's like a stew kind of. Is a marinade. This is pork that's been cooking for all all day. It's really super soft. This is a plastic representation of it. Uh, we have a duck shop here, selling some uh, duck and noodles. Got a noodle shop here, and so a bowl of noodles is like two dollars or something like that. Same with like a plate of duck and rice. In 2021, most of the uh, food courts are around 60 baht for an entree. This is called Khao Mangai. It's like rice and chicken. You could get boiled chicken or fried chicken. This guy's selling some uh, rice and stir fried dishes. Another stir fry shop, it looks like, or actually, this is an omelet shop. So, you get an omelet, rice, a little bit of soup for 60 baht, which is around two dollars. And then, every food court has a sum tum place, so you can get also the papaya salads here crab, fish, shrimp, seafood mix, uh, hot dog kind of things. And then, uh, yeah, the prices again for 45 to 75 baht. 60 baht. So essentially, if you want to have a, a decent Thai meal here, you need to have around three dollars, two dollars for the entree, and then maybe a dollar for the for the beverage if you're going to drink a fountain soda. So that's it.